The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. We're in the midst of a cosmetic treatment revolution. In fact, nearly 16 million people in the U.S. got a minimally invasive cosmetic procedure performed in 2018. But how far would you go for a smoother face or plumper lips? Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports on how people are taking matters and needles into their own hands. The internet is rife with online tutorials where you can learn just about anything. But here's a new trend. People are DIYing their own invasive cosmetic procedures, and they're using doctor's training videos to find out the techniques. People are going to foreign websites that will ship everything you need to do these procedures in the comfort of your own home, including centrifuges to spin your own blood and do blood facials, Botox, fillers, lasers. They're non-FDA approved, and they could actually be counterfeit. You might think that this is just a few people on the fringes that are performing these procedures on themselves, but it's thousands of people. Here's a private Facebook group with members that are sharing tips and techniques on how to inject their own faces, perform their own lasers, and do their own blood facials. And they're rooting each other on. In an age where beauty is paramount, is this really as far as people are willing to go? Leslie, thank you for joining Leslie, us. Leslie, our investigative producer, is revealing more craziness. So talk to us about some of the revelations from this investigation. So there's this new gray area of cosmetic procedures that's popping up. You have stay-at-home moms, you have beauticians, hairstylists. They all want in on this cosmetic procedure pie, if you will. And they're using products like this. So these are big overseas. This one in particular, it's the Hyaluron pen. And so the pool is that it is a non-injectable filler device that basically uses high pressure to shoot hyaluronic acid into various areas of the face. And basically they make it sound super easy. But you say and that, Dr. Botcher, this isn't without risk. Correct. And so just because this is this particular device is supposedly needleless, that's how they're getting around this gray area. But it is oh an incredibly high-pressured piston-like device to push the same hyaluronic acid, which certainly we know as a filler can cause bruising, it can cause swelling, you can still put a lot of pressure on those blood vessels, which can offset at the blood supply. You see here a photo of tremendous bruising from this. this. This certainly is not without risk. And just for anyone to be able to buy it, you bought this online. It was delivered in two, two days. days. Two days. It's, it's crazy to me. And the other thing is, at least when a medical professional buys hyaluronic acid, you know that that actual product is FDA approved. It's been vetted not to be contaminated. It's been vetted to, that it actually is what it's saying to be. When I went online and I looked at what they even were using with this gun, it wasn't a U.S product. It was from abroad. Who knows how it's shipped, how it's stored, what you're even getting before you, you put it in your sterility. face with bacteria. Yes. And what if people are reusing these ampules? How do you know? It's not, yeah, it's not a clean, sterile thing to do, especially because then you're pushing it under the surface of your skin. You're talking about boils and abscesses mm -hmm. in that situation. And the trainers actually told me that uh, I, people will want to have this done because it's less expensive, a little less expensive than going to the doctor to get injections.